Welcome back to the lecture of Normal Growth Development and Puberty in Children and Adolescents. I'm Dr. Amal El Faramawi, Professor of Pediatrics. Let's now start assessment of development, which we defined earlier as the progressive acquisition of various skills and the ability to function independently. The various skills that babies and young children learn are called milestones. Assessment of development can be performed by developmental surveillance, which is an informal process comparing skill levels of the child elicited by observation to lists of milestones. But in case of suspicion of developmental issues, further evaluation should be done by developmental screening, which involves the use of standardized screening tests. Developmental screening is beyond the scope of your course, so we will focus on developmental surveillance. There are four aspects of developmental skills that can be easily observed. The motor, the cognitive, the language, and the socio-emotional. The motor skills or physical skills include gross motor skills that involve moving large muscles of the body, and fine motor skills, which involve movement of the small muscles of the hand. Cognitive skills cover attention, memory, and other intellectual abilities. Language or communication skills refer to speech abilities. Socio-emotional skills include the ability to co cooperate with others and to control impulses and resolve conflicts. Here are some of the resources and links to videos that can help you to understand the progress of milestones of development. And you will find all the lists of milestones in your learning guides. I will focus on milestones that need explanation and you have to practice application of the learning guides to be able to memorize. There are important milestones in gross motor development. Here in this photo, you can notice a head lag in the neonate due to lack of neck support. Then, at the age of two months, infants are able to elevate the head and chest in prone position. At the age of three months, infants can support the neck and no head lag anymore. Then, at the age of more four months, they start sitting supported. At the age of six months, they are able to sit without support. Then standing supported at the age of eight months, crawling at the age of nine months, walking supported at the age of one year, then walking freely at the age of 15 months. And so on the list of milestones continues and children will be able to run, go up and down stairs, ride a bicycle at different ages, as you can see in the photos. For further details, please refer back to your learning guides. From the fine motor milestones, I'd like to focus on grasp. At birth, grasp is a neonatal reflex that's lost at the age of five months. Then the whole hand grasp appears, which is the ability to hold objects with the whole hand. This will be more advanced at the age of nine months to pincer grasp, which is holding objects between the thumb and the other fingers, as you can see here in this photo. Building towers is an important indicator of hand-eye coordination. The height of the tower increases with the age, as you can see in the table. It starts with a tower of two blocks at the age of 15 months to be a tower of eight blocks at the age of three years. Then children are capable of copying shapes, using scissors, and drawing body parts, writing some letters, denoting that they are ready to go to school. More details are available in your learning guides. Language development, communication, and reciprocal interactions between people are very important in humans' life. The only way of communication in the first months after birth is crying. Between two and four months start cooing, which is vowel sounds like pigeon sounds. 
then babbling, gurgling, which is adding constants to vowel, start at the age of six months. At nine months of age, infants can say two syllable words like mama, dada. Children usually have five to ten comprehensible words at the age of one year. At the age of two, children are capable of putting two words into phrases. Let's look at another aspect of development, which is the socio-emotional skills. Socio-emotional development is the interaction between the child and his family and the child and other people around him or her. For example, at the age of four months, infants return smile. At the age of eight months, they respond to own name and recognize family members' names. At the age of one year, they imitate adults' fear from strangers and upset when separated from the parents, and so on. For easier developmental surveillance, the milestones of all aspects of development are grouped in tables like this one to show all the expected lists of milestones for certain age. Okay, now this is the end of this segment. In the next segment of this lecture, you will know other points that need assessment as a part of assessment of development in addition to assessment of puberty.